Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm back again with another video for you guys. I'm gonna be doing a video I've wanted to do for a little bit now, where I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some Rod Wave type beats. So yeah, Rod Wave is an artist that's been uh, blowing up pretty heavily right now. Um, at least as far as I know. I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest Rod Wave fan, but I really f with the type of beats he makes, or the type of beats he uses. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so I got FL pulled up. First thing I'm gonna do is open up Omnisphere and I'm gonna load up a Keyscape patch. Alright, so we're gonna be using this patch right here in Keyscape. It's called the uh, C7 Grand Piano. So I've heard people use this before and it sounds good. So we're gonna test the waters and see how it works. Before any of you get too mad, I'm gonna be using a MIDI just because I don't have a MIDI keyboard with me right now. And I feel like Rod Wave type beats are a little too hard to click in, especially with uh, me, cause I'm not too hot on music theory or anything like that. So we're just gonna be using some MIDI, which I got right here from this dude named Dossie. All I'm going to do is just drag this onto the Omnisphere patch and we will have the MIDI pulled up. So as you can see, Rod Wave type melodies are like super complex. It's uh, usually some kind of chord progression, super bouncy, and then there's a bunch, a bunch of melodic notes that are just spread out everywhere. So I'm going to mess around with this MIDI and uh, just see what we can get. Then I'm going to show you guys where I'd go from that. So I actually like how that sounds by like just default velocities, but obviously we're not going to do that. So I'm going to hit Alt R to bring up the randomizer. We're going to randomize those velocities a little bit. And then I'm going to just go through and make any changes that I think are too loud or too quiet. Cool, so I like how that sounds. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the root notes. So we got C, G, F. So I'm trying, I'm just gonna try and think of what the 808 would sound like there. And I'm gonna think if I wanna pitch it up or anything like that. And you know what, I, I'm gonna try and pitch it up just one semitone and see how that sounds, but I might just keep it the same. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep it at C minor. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do is, you probably heard this in a lot of Rod Wave melodies, but um, there's this little effect. It's like a wah wah effect. It is in Holy's drum kit, uh, Holy's feeling drum kit. I know he used this in his video too. But, uh, it's under effects. I have a question. It's called Roy Dash Wah. Probably heard this sound before. <laughs> It's got like that rod wave vibe to it, so I'm gonna just place it in here and just see if we can find where it fits. Cool, so I like that. So what I'm gonna do is highlight both of these, round with a mixer track. You do that by selecting a mixer track, hit uh, Control Shift L, and it's routed. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna solo out the Omnisphere patch, and I'm gonna just add some EQ to it, real quick, just to shape the sound to get it how I want it. Cool, 
so I like that. I'm gonna bring up the volume a little bit and then I'm gonna add this GHZ Wolf compressor and we're gonna just bring the wow down a little bit. Bringing the compression down a lot too. All right, so next and final part of the actual melodic part of this is I'm gonna go into arcade. You can do this with anything you really want. You can use uh, Exhale, anything like that. But I'm gonna just try and find some vocal chops that fit well with it. So I'm gonna lock into C minor and just make sure that stays locked in. And then I'm gonna go to this line over here called Hooked. And I'm gonna just look through a bunch of different presets, see if we can find anything cool. So uh, this makes a track with the vocal chops on it. I'm gonna add a delay and a little bit of reverb. So I'm gonna go and add this Valhalla delay. I'm gonna set it to note and bring it up to like one fourth note. Bring the mix down a little bit and bring the spread up. I don't know if you guys can see that, sorry, but uh, this is what that looks like. And then we're gonna add some fruity reverb. Just keep it simple, bring the low cut up, K up, and bring the wet down, honestly. So I want this delay to be maybe a half note. Perfect. Cue out the highs a little bit and then let's see how that sounds. So melodic part, I'm liking what we got so far. So what I'm gonna do next is just try and add a bass. So I'm gonna go to Analog Lab, and I'm gonna go to uh, Instruments, I'm gonna go to the Profit 5, and then we're gonna change types to bass. Try using this 80s bass right here, see if we can get it to sound cool. All right, so I think I like how this sounds. All I'm gonna do is just bring it to a mixture track to try and EQ out some of those highs, because it's a little too much. But we'll have to see if this even works out. Cool, so I actually like that. So we're gonna move on to the drum section. So we're gonna do the usual. I'm gonna bring it out here and we're gonna uh, organize or just lay out the pattern. So 
all I'm gonna do is just duplicate this over a bunch of times. And then we're just gonna start the melody off as an intro. So we're gonna have the bass in there and like everything. And then we're gonna bring it to no bass. And then uh, we're gonna have sections just slowly start to come out. All right, so here's the arrangement of the melody. So the one thing I'm gonna do before we uh, render it out is I'm gonna go to the bass track right here. I'm gonna create an automation clip on the volume. And I'm gonna just have the volume completely end out right as, or it's actually over here, just right as we want that first verse to come in, just so the bass doesn't carry over and mess up anything. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go to my master channel. I'm gonna arm it for recording. And I'm gonna just hit Alt-R, click Start. Cool, so now we're just gonna be able to work with just the wave format. So I'm gonna take all this and just delete it because we don't really need it anymore. And then what I'm gonna do is split this because we know the first eight bars is the intro with the bass. We're gonna make the second half unique. And then I'm gonna track this out and track this one out. Perfect, so now we got them tracked out so we can EQ anything that we don't like. And we're gonna start working with some drums. So I'm gonna make a new pattern here. I'm gonna just drag it into this first verse part over here. And I'm gonna loop this and then we're just gonna start working on some drums. So first thing I'm gonna do is probably turn this up a little tiny bit. Then I'm also gonna add a free EQ and just EQ out those lows. Oops. So now we're gonna work on the drums. So I'm gonna go to pattern five right here. And I'm gonna go to my drum kit and we're just gonna find a clap first. Now we're gonna look for a hi-hat real quick. So I'm just gonna be using some MIDI from a uh, hi-hat MIDI kit I'm working on. So before I continue on this hi hat, uh one thing I always notice in Rod Wave type beats is the hi-hats kind of sound like more realistic. So the way you can do this is just really mess around with the velocities, just get them to sound more like what you would think a real drum set would sound like. So next thing we're going to work on is an open hat. Just throw an open hat in there on the, on the one and the three. Just looking for something super simple here. I'm probably going to be using this one for my drum kit called a take. So we'll throw it right here on the one and right here on the three. And 
And I'm gonna just bring it down two semitones. Three. Duplicate it over. And then before I do any percussion, I'm uh, adding eight away. So I'm just using your average spins here. So I'm gonna throw this in and just quick cut itself. So, uh, I like that super simple 808 pattern, so I'm going to just duplicate that over for 8 bars. Then hit uh, Control L just to make the notes touch each other. And then right here on the second part of the 808, I'm going to try and just find like a, a little stutter we can Let's see if we can find a spot for a snare to fit in. I like that super simple pattern, but it just adds a nice bounce to it. I added a little, uh, so I added a reverse open hat there as well, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna add all these drums to the mixer track, and we're gonna mix it out a little bit. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna add a kick. So I'm gonna just copy the 808 pattern, control it or paste it to the kick, and we're gonna hit Alt K, uh, transpose it to C, and then I'm gonna bring it down to B. <laughs> All right, so let's go over arrangement. So I'm um, gonna just have the eight bar intro with the bass, have the normal drop we got right here. And then uh, in rod wave type beats, there's usually a lot of like breaks. So just where like all the drums come out and it's just melody. Or just parts where like drums will drop for a little bit and come back in. So I'm gonna go through and just try and find a cool, just try and find a cool arrangement that we can do with this. So I already know for this first part what I'm gonna do have all the drums out and I'm gonna have the hi-hat just come in out of nowhere uh, with the snare and reversed open hat and then I'm gonna have everything redrop but with no kick and I'm gonna have it cut out like this and redrop with the kick and uh, let's just see what we got So I'm actually going to take the reverb off the hi-hat just because I feel like this should be like a cleaner mix, like more tight and everything. Um, then I'm also going to take a little bit off of the open hat. Cool, so I'm going to duplicate this part over, but I'm, uh, I'm going to take the drums out like this. 
And then I'm gonna split this part right here. I'm gonna drag this second part over for eight bars. And I'm gonna just have that drop come in right after this little break. Let's just get that over. Should be good. Let's see, right at a minute 47. So now all I'm gonna do is duplicate this over. I'm gonna write too long, but I'm gonna just have this, oops. It's just gonna be the outro right here, right after that second drop. No drums are gonna come in or anything. Should be a little over, uh, a little over three minutes, so. Get that right there. So I'm gonna just uh, right click on the master track, create automation clip, and we're gonna have the volume fade out to the outro. Then I'm gonna just uh, go to my master track again, and I'm gonna add a fruity EQ. Just bring the highs up a little tiny bit. This is my master, just EQ and a soft clipper. And that is the whole beat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't learn anything or if you enjoyed anything about this video, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Turn those bells on so you're notified every time I upload. Also follow me on all my social medias, just cause we can interact there a little more. Uh, especially Instagram, I'm always active on there. Also, you probably don't know this, but I have a Discord server. So if you're looking to join that, check the link in the description. Oh, something I forgot to mention. I know this is a uh, tough times right now. I hope everyone's safe. If you're protesting, please be safe. Don't get yourself hurt. I fully support Black Lives Matter. So guys, keep being safe. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.